Hi everyone. So I'm here today with you to talk about the holiday sets from Beauty Counter for the year 2023. These sets have been out for quite a while. Um, I did want to take a long time to go through each set personally and use them and ensure that, you know, I like them. I understand what the products are about and who the ideal customer is for each set. So I really took my time and I'm finally ready to uh, go in depth on sort of explaining what each set does or is and um, showing you what what they are what the colors are etc so let's jump right into it um, there are 14 sets this year super exciting different categories so I will start with makeup because that's near and dear to, to my heart um, and then I'll go into skincare and we will finish off with body care if this long thorough video <laughs> is a little bit too too much for you Feel free to jump to whatever section you'd like. I'll put down in the description box the timestamp for when each category has started. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so let's start with the first set. This set is called Lashes and Lips Makeup Duo. Um, I have both of the products on my face right now. So it contains a, a deluxe size or half size mascara and a pH changing lipstick. This is my favorite thing of this year, probably. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I have the mascara on. I have very puny lashes. The, this mascara is so good for lengthening and volumizing lashes. I will say it does smudge a bit for people who are prone to smudging. I am prone to smudging, so I have to make sure that I powder underneath my lashes uh, a little bit to prevent that from, from happening. But if you're not prone to smudging, I have a lot of customers who have no issues with that whatsoever. So that's the mascara. That's our regular mascara this lipstick is a new limited edition lipstick and it's a clear color almost like a lip balm but when you put it on your lips it reacts to the pH heat of your body pH of your body to create the perfect pink color for your face and I am just madly in love with this this is my favorite thing of this entire year's launch I think um just because um I from day to day I like to use something really natural really easy there's no color, so you can't go wrong. You don't need a mirror to reapply. Uh, I want to show you right now. I'm wearing it, and it's a pale pink on my lips. It does change color on different people, so whatever is on your lips will be different than mine, but it'll complement your complexion because it'll be reacting to your own body's pH. Um, and as you apply more layers, the colors get more intense. So I'll, I will show you a, me applying a, sep seven, um, a second layer. So just give it a moment to develop. And you see it's a darker rose now. So the first layer was a pale pink, and now it's a darker rose. So that's what I love about it. If I want to go even more, if I do a third layer, it can even turn a little bit fuchsia pink, which, you know, isn't for everyone. But if you want to go for a more dramatic look, it, you can do that. So I just love this so much. And like I said, you don't need a mirror. It's super moisturizing. It's almost like a lip balm, even though it's a lipstick. It's a balmy lipstick, and um, I just I, I just love this so much. It just looks so natural and um, so soft, so easy. Uh, it's just my favorite lipstick from Beauty Counter, basically by far. <laughs> uh, I'm so sad that it, it is limited edition, but that's the set right here. So Lashes and Lips Makeup Duo. So the next gift set I'll be talking about today is called the Hidden Gem Makeup Set. And it's got a half size priming serum and a full size um, cream blush in the limited edition shade Jewel. So I'll talk about the priming serum first. A lot of clients are not are kind of confused on how to use this or what it's for. This is my full size uh, personal stash version. So this is a priming serum. This is a, It's a hybrid of a skincare and makeup item. And what this does is, number one, it prolongs the wear of your foundation. So if you usually get, let's say, six hours of wear out of your foundation before it starts to break down a little bit, this will extend the time that the makeup lasts on your skin. So first function is as a primer. Second function is, if your skin is particularly dry, especially in the winter time, as we um, enter the winter time season, what this does, it's, it's like a drink of water for your skin. So it's the last step you put on your face before foundation. And so it would be after sunscreen if you were to 
uh, have it in, you know, in a row in that application order. I myself am wearing it today. It just gives you a glow. That's the best way I can describe it. It gives you a glow with or without foundation on top. So I have some clients who just don't want to use any makeup whatsoever. This is such a good product for them because they can head out the door, um, put one or two pumps on their face. It makes their face look just a little bit more even, uh, a little bit more moisturized, a little bit more glowy. And it's like almost that je ne sais quoi, like you don't know what they did to their skin. That's what this does. And it's so moisturizing, so comfortable. And they love just putting this on instead of foundation and they're good to go um, and of course for you know parties and whatnot you just add the foundation on top or a tinge of moisturizer and you're good to go so I really love it a full-size bottle is $80 so it's quite a lot it's, it's a luxury product and you get to try it here for half size um, it's a really good chance to get to know it very well the second product is jewel um, called in the shade jewel and it's a cream blush as you can see, I've already dug into it and I'm wearing it right now. So I'll just do a quick demo. I mean, I'm, I do have enough on, but just for the sake of really showing you what the color looks like, um, I will just kind of give you a swatch. So it's this mauve pink color and pink this season, or sorry, mauve pink is really in right now. This color, I can almost guarantee, will, be, will look good on anyone's skin tone. It's just so natural. It's the perfect balance between rose and mauve and even a little bit of brown. And they just did such a good job formulating this color this year. So natural. It looks like you were just flushing um, and uh, just naturally flushing. And I, I absolutely am obsessed with this shade as well. Although there are many shades in the regular range that do look nice. So what I'm taking is a um, wet wet sponge and I'm just digging the butt of it inside twisting it inside the pan I'm tapping some off in my palm here and then and then just gently tapping it onto my cheeks and then see I applied quite a bit so I can use kind of the side of the sponge to just blend out the side And there you are so I've added a little bit more blush on this side now and I'll just and of course I'm just adding really a lot extra to show you what the shade looks like day to day you don't need this much uh, you can be a bit more gentle with your application but I just really wanted to show you what it looks like on you know a person's skin so there you are it's, it's just such a natural pink shade um, with a little bit of brown and a little bit of mauve. I just really love this shade as well. Okay, so. so the third set is called the Shimmer and Glow Makeup Duo. And we have a cream eyeshadow in the shade Blaze and a highlighting powder called Kava. Um, as you can see, I'm already dig dug into it and I do have it on my face right now. But So this is our newest cream cream eyeshadow shade blaze and it's a rose gold and once again I really love it even though as a makeup artist I prefer something more glittery more pow with more pigment but for every day for you know your average makeup wearer this is such a pretty shade so I'll, sh I'll swatch it over here for you I don't know if you can see very well that was not a good swatch at all There we go. So it's like a, a rosy kind of bronze, kind of gold. It's a very unique shade, a very natural shade. And so for my light, light warm skin tone, I have it on the middle of my lid here. So you see that clean look, that kind of pinky, clean nude look from here to here and here to here. That's what this eyeshadow is. So. I really love it for a, um, a clean look, a everyday clean look. And I know a lot of my girlfriends, Lori, shout out to Lori, um, they're always looking for something easy to kind of cancel out some some veins maybe on the on the eyelid or some discoloration, which I totally have. Um, you know, you can swipe this on and let it just kind of sit and blend out the edges. And usually you can't even tell that you have makeup on because it's so subtle. This is quite a subtle shade. If you're looking for shimmer and glitter this is not it this is just like a beautiful nude a rosy nude shade that kind of just cancels out any color already on your lid and it just makes it clean looking and natural looking 
and you put some mascara on and you're good to go if you're a person like me who likes more smoky eyes i've obviously added some darker colors on the corners of my eyes to just accent my eyes but you don't have to i've seen this one shade look really really good on a lot of clients and my coworkers as well so i really um i actually have a good use for it it just cancels out my my lid um discoloration and then can kind of put other colors on top as almost like a base color so i'm really enjoying that as well and then kava this is the uh, powder highlighter and i am so excited because we've had a lot of cream products lately and um to be to be honest i love powder a little bit more than creams so i was actually excited when this came so it's a gold light gold champagne highlighter and Look at how pretty that is. It is so, so beautiful. It's so smooth and just glowy without being glittery. So you see, if I blend it out, it's just melts into the skin and it gives such a beautiful glow. Perfect for the holidays or any time. See, it's, it's just gone, but it leaves behind that natural, natural shine. The majority of our customers really lean towards the natural makeup look, so that's who we're catering to. Um, doesn't have that bling bling of, of um, you know, the YouTube gurus, but it's perfect for everyday use. So what I would suggest to use with this powder highlighter is something fluffy. So this is kind of pointed, but a little bit fluffy, this type of brush, or uh, what this is called a dual fiber brush when it's just very loose and fluffy so these types of brushes will work best with the highlighter because you don't want something super dense um, like maybe this type of brush because this is more for foundation if you were to use this as a highlighting brush you get like a stripe of of gold across your cheekbone and that you don't want that so I'm just gonna apply a little bit more just to show you um, how it looks so you want to apply it on the cheekbones where the sun or the light would naturally hit you just like that so it might be hard to see on camera but in person it just glows so beautifully like a candlelight um, effect and it's pale gold champagne it will also work for most skin tones because it has a transparent base so it's not very pigmented as in like it doesn't have a gold gold base gold color so a lot of different um skin tones can use this i don't know if you can tell but my whole face is just lit up in, <laughs> in real life in the mirror so that's the set here called the Shimmer and Glow set. The last set. two sets are lip sets, and um, they are equally exciting as well. So the first one is our lip jelly set. So um, these are what I would say a step down in pigmentation than gloss. So the lowest pigmentation would be our lip balms. So the lip balm is very transparent. You can barely see any color. These uh, lip jellies add some color and some shine. They're very, very easy to use super cute perfect for teenagers who you don't want ingesting lead in your typical lip products that are out in the conventional world these are clean no lead um and really cute little sort of light colors that they won't be you know in your face and just kind of really pigmented so the this is the lip jelly set and then there's a lip gloss set which i'll demo next but as you can see this color here called confetti and sorbet these are very very light so they will barely show up on the lips so just add shine so i won't be swatching these because they're just they're almost transparent sorbet is our regular color this pink one and the other four are limited edition in this set i will swatch the next three because they have a little bit more tint so this nude one i'm so excited about this one is called oat latte um and this one's called sugar plum the kind of pinky purpley one and then a nice coral bright one lollipop so let me swatch okay, these for so you. they look a little bit more intense on my arm so don't be scared <laughs> they won't look like this on the lips but this is oat and this is sugar plum and this one is lollipop 
So I've just swatched out on my lips. As you can see, it just gives it a little bit of a nude color. I did remove that, um, that pH lipstick. So I removed it and this was swatched on bare lips. It's this beautiful nude uh, color, uh, kind of peachy. I think this is my favorite in the set. So this one is Lollipop. This is the pinker one. Pink with a little bit of shimmer. So pretty as well. Just easy, easy lip products. You just swipe it on, you don't need a mirror. And there's a cool um, curve to the applicator, so it kind of just hugs your lips as you apply it. So that's the last lollipop. one is called Sugar Plum. I'll just swatch it on my lips while you're watching. So this is definitely the most intense, but also still kind of sheer. So I've put a little bit too much on now. You can just use your finger. And this is the darkest one, and it's got a little bit more pink a little bit more purple to it. It really matches the blush really well too. So the third one called The last Sugar gift set is called the Mini Beyond Gloss Vault. And we come out with a different set every year um, and it's always beautiful and this year is no different. So there's four different glosses. I'm gonna swatch from lightest to darkest. So the lightest one is super, super pale. This one's called Daisy Shimmer so pretty it's a kind of a nude pink and it is my lips are dry and clean let me swatch it for you on the lips so very subtle pink ah love it <laughs> so natural um, and just just gorgeous okay so I'll swatch it here as well so you can see you really can't tell the color at all on the arm it looks basically clear but there's a tiny hint of pink tiny tiny hint of pink second color is called petunia and it's this light purple oh my gosh looks so pretty this matches the blush perfectly it's this color it's very in right now this mauve this nude mauve Oh, just look at that. So pretty. Okay. And the mauve shades tend to flatter everyone. So a lot more pigment. Ah. Oh. <laughs> so pretty. I love it. Okay, and here it is on the arm. It's a great spring color too. This will take you through winter into spring. Third color is this beautiful bronze called Toffee Shimmer. Look at that, so fun. Gold um, for the holidays and anytime in the summertime. So it's a golden shimmer. Oh my gosh, I love it. I actually, to be honest, I haven't swatched this yet. Um, I've swatched the other colors, not this one. Yeah, so it's a very light gold shimmer. You can put it on top of another lipstick or on its own. Oh my gosh, I think this is my favorite actually. Toffee Shimmer. And last shade, it's called Posey. P-O-S-E-S-Y Posey. And this is the darkest shade in the bunch here. My lips are dry. It's a purple, looks like. So it's not as dark as I was fearing it would be. It's a nice wearable purple.
oh my gosh I love it <laughs> so another successful um, vault from us for gloss so here are the colors swatched so this is just a lighter mauve and this is a, a bit darker of a purple so it'll look great on a red lipstick as well so that's this set I really feel like we um, knocked it out of the park this year for makeup. These, I'm obsessed with basically all of these sets. But I will, in the end, pick my top favorites. So stay tuned for that. Okay, we are moving on to skincare the now. first skincare set, it's what's called Brighter Days Skincare Set. And it's our All Bright AHA Toner and All Bright C Serum. These are star products in our line i cannot live without these products and they're both half size and there's a savings in the set um rather than purchasing them at full full size or full price the toner it is it does so many things <laughs> it's magical i i love this toner so um it has aha acid in it and niacinamide and what this does is it exfoliates your skin it brightens your skin and it prevents or treats breakouts which isn't even in the claim of the product like this product doesn't claim to treat breakouts but I find if I have any congestion or weird things coming up you know any kind of type of blemish this really helps so it's so gentle yet effective I adore this toner so so much and it's our most gentle form of exfoliation we have several exfoliating products in our line this besides the manual exfoliating powder this is the next step up so I would recommend you use this every other day for most skin uh, skin types but if you find your skin is very robust and very sort of it can take a lot of exfol exfoliating then you can use this daily um, and if you your skin happens to be sensitive like mine but also breakout prone I use this every two to three nights I use it at night as my toner step um, during my evening routine and it just it busts any type of weird skin condition right out um, I, I cannot love this toner enough it's really really a super product in my collection the C serum, same thing. So this um, overall brightens your skin. This doesn't affect breakouts in any way, like makes it worse or better. It just, um, it mostly evens out your skin tone as much as possible. So it's like a green smoothie for your skin. I will say there's a lot of antioxidants in here, turmeric in here. Um, so it's a lot of healing, brightening ingredients. And vitamin C, of course, two types of vitamin C. It's the most gentle vitamin C I have ever used. My skin is so sensitive, it cannot handle most active vitamin C serums that are out there. Um, it gets very irritated and rashy. So this was what one. This was the only vitamin C serum I could find that I personally could use to brighten up my skin with no side effects. So it's very potent and gentle at the same time. I adore this. This set is a must-have in my opinion. If you haven't tried it, but of course if you have, you likely have full products or full size product, uh, full size of these. So the products. next set, this nice heavy duty one is called Polish and Plump Trio. Polish and Plump Facial so This Treat. set comes with three half-size jars like this, and I'll go over each item. This is a super, super star skincare set. It's um, got our most coveted products in there, and they're actually very luxurious, so it is a hefty price as well. It's $116 Canadian and $89 US, but you get to try all three products, which on their own are in the $100 range, so you just get to try them in a really large size um, for sort of similar price, so it's such a good deal, and I'll explain what each one is. So the first one is called Reflect Effect AHA Mask. So if you want to have baby smooth skin, you will want to use this. So this is a super strong peeling mask. So what you do is you keep your skin um, slightly damp, you rub this on, uh, it's thin layer, and you let it dry, and then you wash it off. There's gritty bits in there as well, so it's both a, a physical and a chemical exfoliation. And you only want to use this once a week maximum, if not once a month, if your skin is very sensitive. I use this every two to three weeks, and it's a game changer. Afterwards, after you wash your face, you're like, whose skin is this? <laughs> it is so, so soft. It basically restarts your skin it's almost like having a facial like a seasonal facial 
um, because it's so strong that the, the acid safely removes all of the top layer of your skin off, dead skin off. So it reveals a younger, smoother skin, and your skin is so soft afterwards. So this is uh, great for preparing your skin for makeup or holiday times or a wedding. You want to use this beforehand and it just um it's very strong and it really gets rid of everything <laughs> your skin's just basically renewed after the use one use of this product which is why even though the jar is large the regular size jar is twice as big and you know it's it is a hefty price um it lasts forever and ever because you use just a little bit and it and it really really is so effective so one of my favorite products here and then this one is one of our older products. It's called Lotus Glow Cleansing Balm. This product has so many different uses. So the on-label use is a cleansing balm. So you uh, keep your face dry and melt. It's a waxy texture. So it's just, you know, very, very hard wax, almost like wax. It is like a waxy texture. So you scoop it out, warm it up between your hands, and put it on dry skin uh, with makeup. And what it'll do is it'll just make, melt the makeup off, and then you wash it off with a face, facial cloth. So that's kind of the official way to use it. But there are so, so many ways to use this. Um, TMI, but I use this for even on my baby's bum <laughs> if he's... Um, if he's rashy anywhere, any type of rash, diaper rash, skin rash, anything, I put this on and it immediately heals it. Um, I use this in the summer for my thighs chaf chafing. <laughs> I put it in between my thighs um, just a little bit and it kind of, you know, it lessens the friction and it saves my thighs from that red, red chappy, uh, chafy feeling. Um, and I don't have to wear, you know, bike shorts under skirts because of that. So it, there's so many different uses for this balm. Um, it's one of our star products from a very long time ago, and it's super popular, and I cannot live without it. The best way I can describe it is it's it's a clean Vaseline. So anything you use Vaseline for, um, but Vaseline is really bad for your skin because it suffocates it. So how because why it's so effective is that it creates an entire total barrier, total almost impenetrable barrier between your skin and the outside world, which is why it keeps the moisture in if your skin had already had moisture. So that's what makes it really effective, Vaseline. But it does not allow your skin to breathe because it's so impenetrable. So after a while, if you keep using it over over any part of the body, that, that skin starts to kind of... Um, I guess go wonky is the best way I can describe it because it's not able to breathe. So that's why Vaseline is not so good for you. This is like a clean version of Vaseline where it does create a bit of a barrier between your skin and the outside environment, but it also allows some air in so that the skin does heal on its own. And it's just a magical product and I absolutely love it. Now finally, so this is like, I would say my favorite skincare set. If you haven't tried any of these products, this, this is a must have, this set. This is a ceramide water cream, and uh, to be transparent with you, I didn't love um, many of the creams in Beauty Counter line, even though we already had a few, because my skin is so sensitive and so breakout prone. I couldn't find an ideal moisturizer in our line until this was introduced um, last year, or earlier this year, I can't remember, it's relatively new. It's a water cream. It is so moisturizing, but not greasy, and it does the, almost a similar thing to the AHA, AHA toner. Um, I had a, a weird ble blemish from my sleeping mask. Um, long story. <laughs> so I had a blemish trapped under a mask and it was just not healing. And I didn't, I wasn't trying to heal it with this cream, but I used this cream, you know, many days in a row and it completely healed it. Uh, I just love this cream so much. It's healing, it's moisturizing, but it's not overly greasy. It's just... I think not, I would say 99% of our clients who've tried it are they're madly in love with it That's how great this cream is. It's lightweight but moisturizing and it's very hard to find a moisture Moisturizer that acts this way now. I will say for the very very dry ladies out there um, or gentlemen uh, this would not be enough because uh, it it's so lightweight that it's moisturizing for most people, but not for the truly dehydrated people. So for those uh, customers, I would recommend using a moisturizing serum underneath and then putting this cream on top and then you're good to go. This cream is ideal for day, um, day use, so day cream use, night cream, 
if you have very dry skin, I would recommend a richer, richer cream to use at night. But for day cream, it, this lays beautifully under makeup, and it's just it's my newest obsession as well. So I love this, and this is this set is um, definitely a superstar set. So our next set is called the Keep Cool Radiance Duo. So we have our um, arguably most proper, most popular product in the entire line, Counter Time um, Anti Aging Serum Radiance Serum. Uh, so this is what we call Botox in a bottle. So this um, lessens fine lines and increases firmness in the skin. So it's entirely for anti-aging and it's the most effective, I would say, um, within the line. So um, now I will say, just to be totally transparent, it doesn't work great for my skin because my skin is so sensitive. So I can't use this regularly. I wish I could. Uh, but most clients love it. Absolutely love it. And it's very effective and very strong. And it's a safe alternative to retinol. Um, it does very similar, it gets you very similar results to retinol without the health harm that retinol causes. So, um, very, very popular product. However, um, it comes with these cooling globes, which just to be honest, I'm not, I'm not a gadget person, a skincare gadget person. I find them a little bit gimmicky. So this is not for me. Um, if you like, you know, cool tools like this, then you might like this. We have one for masking, which I, which I love, but this is, um, it's not my favorite. <laughs> Um, so you're supposed to keep this in the fridge f to cool and then you just glide it onto your skin to kind of depuff the skin wherever you need. Um, and I just, you know, I'm, I'm a new mom, well, relatively new mom, about to be second time mom, so I don't have time to use this cooling globe. But if you have puffiness issues under the eyes or in the face, this would be very cool to use if, if you are into this. So it's completely personal preference. Um, and it just depends on if you if it's something you think you'll use. It's very cool. This does get sold a lot at high-end spas. Um, so, you know, there is an application for it. Um, I personally just don't use it, but a lot of our clients do like it. So totally up to you, personal choice. But you keep this cool in the fridge and you just massage your skin and it deep puffs wherever it touches because it's so cooling um and then adding the serum will just help finish up finish off your sort of tightening effect on your entire skin so that's the duo set the next set is called our counter match carry on set so it's in this cute little mesh makeup bag um it's actually very roomy so it's great to carry your traveling travel size products it's very large so if you can see there's there's a lot of room in here you can you can put a lot of makeup and skincare in here and it's mesh and breathable so uh, nothing will get moldy it's easy to clean um, it's kind of a plastic material so it won't get damaged easily it's a, it's a very um, very nice travel size bag I, I really like that and then it just comes with the whole regimen for counter time um, sorry counter match counter match the white packaging so there's um, the foaming uh, cleanser, serum, toner, uh, day cream, and night cream. I think it's night cream. Yes, night cream. And it's just such a cute little travel set. We've never had a travel size counter match before. We've had counter time several times. That pink packaging I showed you, that was for anti-aging. This is for, what what is counter match for, this line? It's for people with sensitive red redness prone um any kind of any kind of rosacea prone skin so if you have very overactive skin um that's prone to dryness and reactivity this is such a calming nurturing set for your skin i will say if you are prone to breakouts or your skin's very oily stay away from this set that's not for you um, it will cause breakouts in people who are prone to breakouts, but people who just struggle with generally dryness or sensitivity alone, this is uh, really, really quite corrective, especially for redness. Um, it's uh, it's well it's our t it's our second most popular line. So the pink one I showed you that was for anti aging, and this is for nurturing and smoothing, and hydrating the skin deeply. So it's a very very popular line, and now it's in travel size, and you can take it everywhere with you. And it's not pla it's not glass, it's plastic, so it'll be light to travel with. Last um, skincare set is kind of a hybrid between face and body, and um, we have basically 
which is called Good Night and Glow Duo. So we have a peel for the face and a peel for the body. Um, this peel is also another gentle exfoliating product that uh, is a core staple in our line. So if you have dry winter skin and that's flaky, that flakiness, that's you have to use some sort of acid or exfoliation to take that off. And by using this, um, usually every other night or every night, once again, depending on how robust your skin is, this will take off the top dead layer of your skin very gently. So this is not a fast acting product. It's a daily sort of by uh, once every two or three days use. It will keep your skin um, free from the dead skin cells. So it's a really nice, gentle exfoliating product that you can use more often. Um, and uh, it's in the same line as that mask that I showed you. So that mask is super heavy duty. It's just going to clear out everything in one use. This is multiple uses gradually over time. I use this also as a hack. If I feel um, a pimple coming on, you know, it's one of those red, angry, painful underground ones that's about to pop. I take one drop of this peel and I just sit there and I vigorously rub it in <laughs> and I just rub in one drop and I just make sure it's really absorbed. It's really just all um, sunk into that spot. If I do that and I catch it early enough, I, the breakout will never surface. It'll just recede back. It's such a good hack that I use for a lot of my breakouts. That's why a lot of my friends, they don't think I have breakouts, like I don't have breakout prone skin. It's because I have I use all these tricks to make sure that they never come on <laughs> to my skin. But I have very breakout prone skin. I just have a bunch of tricks and products that I have in my arsenal to keep my skin clear. And this is definitely one of them. So this is the resurfacing body peel. It's basically a peel like this for the face, but for the body. And you can use this for chicken skin. You know, we, when we, we all have some on the back of the arms or legs, calves, especially um, the bumpy kind of chicken skin, dimply skin. This really helps take that down. You can use this every day and then use a body cream on top of it. And it's so effective, so gentle, and more importantly, so safe. Um, so I'm just, uh, this is another another good one for you okay, to try. We're almost there, guys. So we're on to body care products now. And the first set, it's a giant big box, look, <laughs> for size reference. It's called Sugar and Silk Body Set. This is my favorite body set of this launch. Um, it's, oh my gosh, I can't say enough good things about it. So it's a body scrub and a body oil in our new scent. Um, I believe it's still, it's limited edition scent. Um, I definitely have a few backups, but uh, the scent is rose water. Yes, rose water. Look at how huge this body scrub is. So I'll explain about the body scrub. So we have a body scrub in our line already. Um, this is just a new scent. So it's the same formulation, just a new scent. And um, what's amazing about this is that uh, it exfoliates your body really well, but it also, once you wash it off, it leaves kind of an oily film. If you don't like that, then you're not gonna like it. But I like it because it's comforting. I don't have to put, I'm lazy and I'm a mom, so I don't have to put on any moisturizer on afterwards because the film, <laughs> the, the slight oil film stays on my skin. It makes it smooth for days. So you know one scrubbing session really lasts me quite a long time and um i just i really love it it's it's very effective and luxurious feeling at the same time so um you will have to maybe scrub down your stall a little bit <laughs> just to be totally real it's very worth it to me so i do i do use it and i i love it so much and this new scent you guys i um so the the body oil is the same thing it's um very luxurious it's not sticky so this one's not sticky at all um i'll just show you it sinks into the skin quite quickly um so it's just a body oil oh and the smell the smell is what i like about it i mean it obviously performs really well but if you like rose but you find it too flowery which i do sometimes it's like too kind of powdery flowery you know this is like a sweet rose. It's like a candied rose. I, I, I'm obsessed with the smell. I absolutely love it. And look, it just you know it just sinks right in. Doesn't make your your clothes greasy, but it makes your your skin super hydrated. 
in the depth of winter, what I would recommend is you layer some products. I always talk about layering for everything, for skincare, for makeup, and even body, because lay thin layers always work better than one thick layer in whatever application you're thinking of. So in the dead of winter time, we have body lotion, body cream, and body oil. And if you're able to layer them, they will give you the best moisture because different, different thicknesses, consistencies of the product will give you different levels of hydration within the skin layer. So um, yeah, it's just, see, this is my dry, crackly skin, <laughs> and this is my moisturized skin. So it's a, uh, oh, the smell. <laughs> I, can, I can't describe smell very well, but it's like a candy rose. I, I, I just love it. Um, I found that Beauty Counter, um, our, I guess, maybe scent scientists, which by the way, it's all natural scent. Um, it's not synthetic and it's not um, additional. Like the scent is from the ingredients. It's and it does not linger, unfortunately, because sometimes we do want them to linger. It doesn't linger because it doesn't have the, the toxic chemicals that make them linger in most conventional products. So you only get the scent upon application and a little bit after, and then it'll just kind of go away. Um, but yeah, it's um, I find our scent formulators, they really like sweet things, which I love. So I, it's, it works right very well with me. But um, I this is, this is my favorite body scent by far. I love this so so much but it's totally personal preference because um i just i'm obsessed with the scent this sweet sweet rose scent oh my gosh it's, it, i love it so much you guys <laughs> okay moving on uh hand cream set so we have a hand cream set out every year and they always sell out so if you're interested definitely grab this first it's always popular it's always always popular and they always come out with new scents or flavors again um, this year is coriander and cucumber, bergamot and cedarwood, and jasmine and citrus. So, if that sounds good to you, then grab one. Um, I also love the, the hand cream because a hand cream is not just a hand cream. I'm very picky with hand creams. Some of them are too greasy, so you put them on and you're like... And you, your hands are so greasy still and you don't even know where to put them for about half hour afterwards, right? Because they're so greasy still, they haven't sunk in. Some are so light, they sink right in, but they haven't moisturized your hand and it's like dry 20 minutes later. So all hand creams are not created equal and of course this one... It's created just right. So I feel like it's the Goldilocks of hand creams where it does take a bit of rubbing in to sink in. But once it's in there, it has very well moisturized your, your hand and it lasts for a long time, but it's not greasy. So you're not, you know, leaving fingerprints everywhere. You do have to wait a little bit. It, it does take some rubbing in because I think it's got a lot of shea butter in it, which is so good for your skin, but it is a little bit sticky. So you got to really rub it in and then wait a few seconds or minutes and then you're good to go. So it's so travel friendly. And once again, the scent. Um, so this one, I just put on bergamot and cedar wood. These are sophisticated spa scents. It, it just feels like um, you've entered a spa. I mean, that's all I can say. They, they smell expensive. Expensive, high-end hotel smells. That's what these smells like. Um, I am obsessed with this as well. As well. But... I mean, you know, I tell you when I am and I tell you when I'm not. And I will get to something I'm not. <laughs> okay, so the next set is, what's this called? Triple Quench Body Butter Set. Triple Quench Body Butter. So there's these three little body butters. And that's what I said. We have lotion, body butters, and body oils. And if you layer them in the wintertime, your skin's going to be all set. Uh, same thing, they've come out with such luxurious, beautiful scents. This one's lavender and sage. Oh my gosh, it's expensive spa. That's all I can say. Expensive hotel spa are these scents. And they just smell so, so delicious. If you're a local client and you're curious and you don't want to get it right away yet, just ask me which, you know, whatever smell you're interested in, I'll, I'll um, show you. I'll show you in person what these smell like because... Um, they're just gorgeous. They're, they truly are. So it's a trio of body butters. And uh, love these as well. <laughs> okay. So last but not least, this is the gift set um, that all of Beauty Counter is the most excited about. Except for me. <laughs> um, okay. So it is our first ever, 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 ever clean perfume. Now, um, if you're not in the clean beauty space, you may be like, what's the big deal? What is, what is 
clean perfume. There's clean perfumes everywhere. What you may or may not know is that perfume, traditional perfume, it is so, so bad for your health. Um, and, you know, I'm not the only one saying it. You can Google that easily. Fragrance, for the sake of fragrance, especially um, when it's meant to last on your body, on your clothes, they have to put a lot of toxic chemicals in there to achieve those effects. And um, once I discovered that, I stopped using all perfume, especially during my fertility journey, which had a lot of ups and downs. Uh, and now I'm pregnant, so... I definitely wouldn't even think to put any type of synthetic um, conventional perfume on my body. Um, for the regular person who's not struggling with fertility or anything like that, it's still not good because what it does is the, the fragrance chemicals, they literally interfere with your hormone function within your body. So um, it's it's just very bad for your health, just to put it very simply. Um, and so... Uh, a lot of people who are more health conscious, they don't use perfume and they use um, essential oils, essential oils as perfume, which is, you know, much, much safer. However, they smell like essential essential oils. So you smell like pine or, <laughs> you know, or vanilla, which is very beautiful. Um, and so you've got kind of the two camps. You've got the traditional perfume or kind of um, essential oils and there's really never been anything in between until now so the our perfumes are made from synthetic and natural fragrances that do not interfere with your hormones they do not damage your body's function they smell just like perfume but they don't contain the um ingredients that are very very questionable and also by the way we don't well we, we we determine what we don't want in our products but this is not something that beauty counter invented or cared about is the only brand that cares about it you know if you're aware at all you know sephora has many clean brands now um and we follow the eu's lead so europe their government outlaws a lot of perfume and a lot of ingredients in perfumes because they're not safe for health they can they're considered not safe uh, for health for their citizens so europe really protects their people very well unfortunately in north america we have to catch up a little bit so um all that is to say this is the first clean clean perfume that we have ever invented for ourselves um so we're very proud of it and all of everyone i know within our company is just so excited as well as i am however <laughs> I don't love the smells <laughs> that are here. So um, one is called Sun Spill. And I just have samples because I don't want to touch the full size. And it's this... Oh, it is It is nice. It is nice. Don't get me wrong. So it's a citrusy kind of sweet smell. So it's with a little bit of musk added in. That's how I would describe it. Uh, let's see if what the packaging says. A bright, uplifting citrus floral scent with crisp notes of grapefruit, neroli, jasmine, and vetiver. I would say that's very correct. So that's it, it smells exactly how that sounds, which I enjoy. But once I put it on my skin, and you know, fragrance is very personal, so I put it on my skin, and you know, it just didn't, it didn't, um, it wasn't very compatible with my skin. I just didn't, I didn't like the feel of it, the smell of it too much afterwards, although I prefer this one. The next one is called Miles Away. And it's a greener, greener perfume. And miles away, let's see, what do we say about that? It's a woodsy, restorative green floral scent with notes of bergamot, chamomile, and sand sandalwood. And I would say that's also true. The problem is these are just not my favorite personal scents. We are coming out with more scents next year, which I'm so, so, that I'm so, so excited about. But this scent is not my favorite. It really, really depends on if you like those smells. So you just have to listen to the ingredients and see if you, that's something you like. Once again, if you're a local client or even not even local, I can send you I can send you scent cards so you can smell these and see if you would like them because a lot of other people like them. It's just not. These smells are not my cup of tea. They're very strong and they smell just like a perfume. That's what we were all kind of ooing and eyeing about because um, till these came along, we all had to use essential oils <laughs> to scent our bodies and scent our products. Um, and and now this is a proper, proper smelling perfume. So that's why we're so excited. Um, 
and me personally it's just not it's not my favorite but i'm hoping we'll come out with better scents that i really love like the other ones i talked about i mean why can't they make a rose water scent <laughs> i would buy tubs of this but anyway so that's it um i will have everything you possibly need to know about pricing and how to order in the description box please reach out to me if you're at all curious there's no pressure i just love talking beauty anyway and um i would just love to talk about what you found interesting what you're interested in we also have a 20 percent off um deal going on right now through the next week i think no until november 17th so uh please please reach out my information is down below if you're interested everyone have a wonderful and safe holidays bye